Hello everybody and welcome to another video in the Thinking Pack series. It's, uh, I think we're episode 43 now, and yeah, it's really exciting. So, what we're going to be doing today, let's, uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started actually, get set up. I need to get this, uh, this, this thing over here. But, what we're doing today, basically, we've done a lot in between episodes and stuff like that, um, or not, well, we did a lot last episode. I did a somewhat in between episodes because as you know this series is what am i doing here um oh just plain turtles okay that's what i'm looking for um this series we're doing mostly everything on camera that's one of the challenges for this series and if you want to find out the rest of the challenges if you're new to the series or something then go ahead and check out the description because there's a list of all the challenges and everything for the series and yeah so basically what we have what I did in between episodes is a bunch of different things that I should probably actually <laughs> go over to the quarry so that you can see what's happening. But basically, the quarry that we were working on in previous, like in the last episode, I went and expanded it a whole ton. I expanded it a lot, and it's now very, very large. I don't think I included this in last episode. But, uh, I don't remember for sure. But anyways, so yeah, the quarry is like, as you can see, it still has all that to dig. All that big section down there. But the quarry is now very, very large. It covers, I think, what's the button? F9. I think it covers, like, three chunks. Three chunks that way, three chunks that way. So it's like a nine-chunk quarry. And so it's, yeah, it, it gets a lot of materials and I almost fell off. Okay, let's not do that. But anyway, so yeah, the quarry expanded the quarry a lot because trying to hunt down diamonds, they uh, it turns out they're not as easy to find as as they are sometimes. We seem to be hitting all the chunks that have lava lakes in them. That one had a lava lake, and I think one of those had a lava lake as well. So it kind of overwrote the diamonds, and so we're having trouble finding them. Um, also, as I was going, this is just a little bit of a note, but... As the quarry was setting up, so as you know, the frame builds, like I've explained that before, the frame gets built, and then the quarry just destroys anything that's within the frame, and then it starts digging and picking things, picking things up. Well, turns out there was a lot of coal in the area. There was a lot of coal inside where the frame was going to go, so I went and mined some of the coal up myself. Uh, I think I put it in one of those chests over there. So, just so that you guys know that that happened. Um... And then the other thing that we were doing is back at the main section of the base. And while we're on the way back there, by the way, there I um, changed my mic settings. So I have done a video with and a live stream with the new mic settings. But this is the first a Thinking Pack video with that. And so let me know what you guys think. It still needs some adjusting. Like, for example, um, I, got the, uh, I got the base all wrong. I, I like I, I completely cut out the base just about in the new settings, and then I have to raise it in post production, which isn't good. So I'm gonna be adjusting it some more stuff like that. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. If there's any particular adjust, adjust blah, blah. okay, I should probably adjust my uh, my tongue tiedness somehow <laughs> while I'm at it. But anyways, if you guys want any changes to the mic, if you think it sounds better, um, some part of it sounded better previously than it does now then uh, let me know, and I'm going to try, if I remember, as we're going, I'm going to try to talk about what exactly I changed on the mic settings, but uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and get going. So the last thing that we did was over here, we were, we set this up last episode to uh, create, to turn cobblestone into chemicals, and we have quite a few chemicals from that. And then I took that, I took all the silicon out of that and all the rest of the stuff that we needed and put it in here, whoops, in here. And as you can see, there's one left. So our chemical synthesis machine and create a nether rack from that. And now we can take this nether rack and stick it into the chemical decomposer. I'll stick it in up here. And that thing will start decomposing the netherrack into chemicals. 
and then it stops. Because the other thing that we did in between episodes was we ran out of power. <laughs> so basically, last episode, we took we made an extra engine and all that. So if you guys haven't seen previous episodes, we have a system set up. And hopefully my mic is not clipping the audio. Um, okay, hopefully it's not doing that. But if it gets buzzing or something at some point, then sorry about that. <laughs> I'm trying to keep an eye on it and work on adjusting as we're going. Anyways, so if you haven't seen previous episodes, we have a system here to bring lava from underground up into these chests here. And then this turtle goes and sticks it into the Sterling engine, stuff like that, and all that kind of stuff. And it's great. But we actually ran out of lava down <laughs> underground there. And that lava, if you remember from previous episodes, we had a gigantic lava tank down there. And we used the whole thing up trying to run that quarry, which, as you saw, what is not done yet. And trying to filter these items and stuff like that. So, <laughs> yeah, so we're going to have to work on getting more power, more lava and stuff like that. And I have a plan for how to do that. Hopefully it's going to actually work. But what we're going to be doing this episode is taking a bit of a break and getting our base working as intended and getting it to be more of a stealth base and getting rid of the uh, <laughs> getting rid of the water, the underground lake that is down there at the bottom of our, our base. So yeah, so anyways, without uh, without further delays and all that kind of stuff, here we go. Alright, so the first thing on the agenda, you might have been wondering why I got these turtles again. Well, if you saw the uh, the previous episode, or not not the previous episode, but one of the previous episodes, these turtles are whoa, okay <laughs> being placed randomly, and that's not the that's not the button that I'm going for. There we go. These turtles are turtles designed to remove water from places, like remove water from down here and stuff like that. So basically how they work, and I'm gonna get them set up a bit and then proceed. So, okay, here's the pump that pumped out the uh, the oil lake there. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the pump because I don't know if it's going to, actually I can just block it off, can't I? I don't know if it's going to, well, okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, all I have is, gra oh, wait, we have cobblestone, yay. Okay, cobblestone. And that goes in that slot. All right, so the pump, it looks like this is a transparent block or something like that, the, um, the, the pipe coming off of the pump. So I think we're good to go. So anyway, so let's head down here. So what these turtles do, basically, is they go and they're designed to clean up any water that is in the area that's not supposed to be in the area. So, like, for example, if we go over here, I think this might be the best place to start them. So, basically, we stick down turtles along in a row, like that, and then they go, they go around and just by nature of running through the water, basically every time a turtle moves, it turns into, like, an entity or something, is the way it seems to work. It turns into an entity, and 
moves and then places itself as a solid block. That's the uh, the technical side of what's happening, at least as far as I've been able to figure out. So it goes along and does that, and turns out I need more turtles to do this properly, but I think we'll be good to go. Oh, might be good to take one of the turtles over here and move it to that side. Um, actually, no, let's not bother with that. Let's just take out part of the water and then after that. So, as you probably know if you've played Minecraft before, when you place a solid block in water, it replaces the water block with uh, with solid block. So, like, when you have an infinite water source like we have down there, which I've explained all this in a previous episode somewhere, but when you have, like, solid water blocks and stuff like that that make an infinite water source, if you fill them up with regular blocks, then they go and get filled in, basically, and so then they're, they, the water disappears. So that's what this does, because every time these turtles move, they're essentially placing themselves all, all like, along the pathway that they move, they replace the water with turtle. And so then they can basically clean up the water that way. Now, one problem is that we used these before, but they, they um, we took the, I broke them without making titles for them, is basically what I'm, basically what I'm trying to say. So I'm just going to go here, I'm just going to go through and find the program that we made before, because if you don't know, programs from the Computer Craft Turtles are actually in your save files. So if you break a Computer Craft um, Turtle or a computer or whatever, the program is actually, it still exists in your world. It just isn't, it just isn't, um, what was I saying? Sorry, <laughs> I'm super tired today. Probably should have gotten more sleep. Anyways, it's, so it's not in the world. It's in the save file, but it's, it's not in the world. That's what I'm trying to say. So we got here, this is not the program. Lava elevator, that is for the other thing. Bucket filler, I think, no, that's for the other turtle as well. Fuel engine is for a different one. Deflood basement, I think that's what it's called. All right, that's it. So deflood basement. So let's see. I'm going to need to do some uh, do, do some file work getting this file actually into the computer turtles and stuff like that. So I'm going to close the world for a second. I'm going to exit to title and close the world and then put... Oh, 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 a little bit of work to do before that. Okay, so how you basically do this is you take your turtle, you need to give it a folder in your Minecraft save file. So basically what you do is you go and say, create any program. So let's edit, and spell it correctly, edit, let's say, to delete. There we go, because we don't want this program, it's only to save so that the turtle has a folder. So now if you see, if you check directories, it says to delete is one of the programs that's on the list. So that's the idea. So now over in, let me just make sure that this worked over here in the world save. Yep. We have a so you go in your Minecraft world save, you go in your computer folder, and then it's got a whole bunch of numbers. Every number is a different turtle or computer or something. And so this particular folder with a number has the to delete file in it. So I know that this folder means this turtle here. So that's the idea. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and close the world just so that we don't get any world corruption or anything like that. I'm going to save and quit to title. And then from there, I'm going to go and into my uh, my finder and or your file manager, or whatever um, operating system you're using, whatever it's called, and go and copy our deflood basement program into this new folder that we have that has the to delete file in it. And then come back and we should see the other file on the turtle. So, 
One moment, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna be back in a second. All right, I'm back. So what we got here now is we should see in this turtle if we check the directories again. Yes, D flood basement is there. So as you can see, it worked. So that's a trick for you if you want to know how to get a program from one place to another place. If you accidentally broke a, a computer or a turtle and you can't get it back, then that's what you have to do. So anyways, now that we have that, now we just need to copy it onto every single other turtle. So let's go ahead and do that like we did before. And while I'm doing that, um, actually I need the, uh, <laughs> I need the uh, disk drive to do that with. While I'm doing that, you guys, some of you guys might be wondering what happened with the mic. So what I changed and stuff like that. So basically, the mic, some of you have heard, it It really depends on what speakers you're plugged into and whether you have, like, any background noise in your room while you're listening, stuff like that. But some of you may have heard that for a long time there was background noise, like fan noise and stuff like that in my recordings. And that's because of, uh, actually, previous uh, Thinking Pack episodes, There's, I had uh, a time... I think I called it Screen Recorder Trouble or something like that was the episode at the time. But basically, and the episode's around it, but basically my computer turns out it was under too much load and it was, especially in the summer, it's worse in the summer, but it gets really hot and then it gets too hot for the computer. And so then the computer basically it slows down. So then I notice that my CPU goes like crazy on the computer and the game gets in incredibly choppy and all kinds of stuff like that because just the computer slowed itself down because it was getting too hot. So I need to turn fans on. So I turn fans on, but then of course you hear the fans in the microphone because I don't have like a, a directional microphone or anything like that. So that's one thing that I'd like to get in the future. But I don't have one of those. So you hear all the fans and stuff in the microphone and that's not good, you know. That's not a good way to get uh, to get clean audio and stuff like that, which is different than clean commentary. Clean audio just means it's all polished and everything, in terms of the uh, technical sound. Clean commentary means something like you, uh, you know, don't mess it up with all kinds of bad words and stuff like that. So, but clean audio is is a thing. And I just realized, let's check this floppy disk. The program might already be <laughs> on the floppy disk. Check directories, uh, disk, disk. Yes, it's already on the floppy disk. It's called high, by the way, because it's just easier to copy when it's called high. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's get them copying. So basically the mic, what I did was I wanted to apply a noise suppressor to it. So I tried different things to try to, um, what's the command for it? Copy disk slash high to high. There we go. And let's double check that it worked. Hi. Yes, it worked. Okay. So I wanted to apply a noise suppressor, and I tried different ways of doing that. And then it turns out that, uh, that the best way that I found to do that, because I found a lot of ways that didn't work very well, but the best way that I found is I actually have a guitar effects pedal. Because if you guys, well, you guys wouldn't know this because I've never said this before. But I used to play, well, I still do play. Um, well, I, <laughs> anyways, I play guitar, by the way, um, basically. Dirt, no, I want D-I-R. And copy disc slash high to high. There we go, and check to make sure that it's there. Yep, we're good to go. So basically, I have this guitar pedal. So I used to play guitar a lot. Now I basically just play bass guitar, which doesn't sound as good with with effects and stuff. So I have this guitar pedal just floating around, doing nothing. And I'm like, oh, well, it's got like all kinds of effects on it, because it's, like, it's a multi-effects pedal. And so I'm like, well, I wonder if I could get my mic plugged in to... I want to check the, the directories. Um, oh, yes, I want to... Okay, um, copy. Typing well talking is very difficult. 
if you guys want a challenge, go ahead and try typing something while talking about something completely different, because that is really challenging. Um, okay, we got that. Time to go on to the next one. So yeah, so I have this guitar pedal just floating around doing nothing, and it's a multi-effects pedal, so it has all kinds of different things, and so it's like, well, that that is very good. So it has a noise suppressor built into the thing, so I'm like, yeah, perfect. At the same time, I wanted to do some other things as well, other effects and stuff, and like uh, like equalizer and different things like that. So I thought, you know what? Might as well try this and copy disk slash high to high and check to make sure that it copied. Yep, we're good to go. So yeah, so basically I went to plug the mic in. Now the mic is... Basically, it's got a... Uh, I think it's called a mini plug or like an eighth inch or something. Like basically what you see, like a headphone jack kind of plug... It has that size of plug, and the uh, the guitar pedal is obviously a, a guitar plug, which is a quarter inch. And that's not the biggest difference. So the biggest difference is in the resistance, because the resistance on disc slash high... I forgot to press copy. Copy disc slash high to high. So the biggest thing is the resistance, because... Guitars output a very strong signal compared to what my mic does, and so it, uh, it it makes a big difference. So I have to boost it a whole ton, which is which is a thing. So pretty much every uh, every gain that that's what it's called. Every gain knob or everything that I have on the pedal is pretty much turned up. A lot of them all the way up. Um, copy disc slash high. That's just to overcome the, the resistance on the the input because, you know, it needs to have a strong resistance because guitars are, are very strong. So anyway, so that's that. And so I took it and I connected it and it works really well so far. It's like, it's got, so I've got different effects on it. I've got, uh, let's see, I think there were four effects. There's Oh, there's a, a compressor, which is set up like a limiter. So if you guys don't know what a limiter is, basically, um, disk... Oh, I forgot the copy thing again. Copy, disk, slash, high to high. There we go. So what a limiter is, is basically... Uh, well, what a compressor is, for any of you who don't know, a compressor is basically, it takes your loud points in your sound, because sound, you know, it always goes up and down. You have some loud points and you have some quiet points and stuff like that. So a compressor takes your loud points and then it takes your quiet points and raises the volume so that they're closer to your loud points. And if you put the compressor on incredibly strong, copy, disk, slash, high, if you put the compressor on incredibly strong, then you can basically make your quiet points sound just as loud as your loud points, and you can get some really neat effects going that way. But basically, that's not what I want, because that would make the, the background noise, the fan noise, get really, really loud, which isn't helpful. Copy. Co <laughs> this keyboard is a different size than my old com keyboard. It's uh, It's weird. Um, copy, what was it called? I forgot the name. I just, <laughs> just did it multiple times. Oh, hi. There we go. Copy, oh, it's disk. Copy disk slash high to high. And that's all of them done. So I'm going to go ahead and put this, uh, put this thing away because I don't want to lose it by accident. So that's that. So a compressor takes your quiet points and makes them as loud as your loud points. But if you turn it the other way, because it has multiple control knobs and stuff like that on it. So, if you turn it the other way, then it will actually, it'll take your loud points and squash them down. So that your loud points are quieter. And so then, that produces an effect kind of like a limiter. What a limiter basically is, is it goes and, like, I use it all the time in post-production. I use some um, 
I use Audacity for audio like processing and stuff like that, if you guys don't know what that is. So go ahead and look it up. It's a it's a free program and it's a lot of fun and everything like that. Well it's uh I I guess it's yeah, anyways. I was I was gonna say a lot of fun sounds like a weird thing to say about an audio processing program. But yeah, I'd say I'd say it's a lot of fun. But anyways, so I use that and I use a limiter all the time for these uh, thinking pack episodes. But the problem is is that for live streams and stuff that I do all the time, I can't do that because what I do in Audacity does only, like, it doesn't do it live. <laughs> it does it um, on a file that you stick in there and stuff like that. So basically, I set up my guitar pedal with a simulation limiter, because it's actually a compressor, but it, it functions sort of like a limiter. Um, let's see, so restart. And I just need to check something on this program. Does it go down first? Because that could be... Okay, it does go down first. So it won't be getting stuck on our cobble. So that's good, because we have a cobble bridge out here like that. So, okay, so... We need to run D-flood basement... Oh, okay. It's it waits for a redstone input. I forgot about that part of things. So I need to go ahead and get that set up. So basically, the trouble was in the live streams. I was trying to like push my voice too hard cuz like something exciting would happen or whatever, which it always does when you're <laughs> playing mini games and stuff, and then I talk really loud and then overpower the mic and so it would go all buzzy and stuff like that. And so then I have to lower the mic volume, and then I go and my voice is tired, so I talk quietly, and I'm like, you can't hear me because I'm too quiet. So basically, I would strain my voice trying to keep it loud all the time. So trying to keep, like, you know, something exciting happened. I talk really loud, and then keep talking really loud so that it keeps the same volume, and it, it, it basically, uh, basically was very tiring. So now I've got this limiter set up so that I don't have to talk as loud. It's not a true limiter, so it does still have a range, and it can still go up above where it's uh, up above where I want it to go in terms of volume, because all it does is it squashes it down by like a ratio or something is is the way it seems to work. Whereas, like a true limiter actually limits it as, at a certain volume. So it means that I have more range to play around with with my voice, but not infinite range. So that's the thing. Um, then there's other effects. There's a equalizer, which I was thinking to improve the equalizer, but I'm still trying to get that balanced with... What am I doing over here? <laughs> I forgot what I'm doing over here. Um, oh, redstone, that's it. So I'm trying to get the, the equalizer balanced with the noise suppressor because the noise suppressor cuts out a lot of of like the quieter sounds, redstone and and I need a, a lever. I don't see a lever floating around, so time to get a stick. So basically uh well, I was talking about something. Um uh, hang on one moment please. Oh, the noise suppressor. So it squashes down all the quieter sounds. And it seems to have a bigger effect on the high frequencies than the lower frequencies. And what that does, the high frequencies, basically, they... that The definition in the, in the English language is in the high frequencies. So that's where all your S's and T's and all that kind of stuff is. So that you can sort of, you can understand what the person's saying better. That's why, like, I don't know if you, any of you guys have had little um, radios or anything like that, like, that maybe alarm clock radios or something, but they have really tiny speakers, and they really don't have any bass at all. And yet you can still understand everything that's being said, because the definition is in the high frequencies. That's a, a thing that I learned from somebody who knows some stuff about the subject. But basically... So the noise suppressor 
suppresses the high frequencies a little bit more than the rest of them, it seems. And so essentially what happens is that... Wait a minute. Do I need... I don't remember how we do this. Do I need repeaters? No, I don't. Okay, it connects right to the turtles. That's good. So, that's the thing. So I need to balance the equalizer to sort of cancel out the the noise suppressors seeming to cut the high frequencies down so that it's harder to understand. And I think I got something wrong. So, if you guys can give me uh, feedback on this or whatever, then <laughs> that would be great. But I think I got something a little bit wrong where I think I'm emphasizing the wrong high frequencies a little bit or something like it sounded to me when I was listening uh, only on certain speakers though I switched to other speakers and hello why are these not moving they're supposed to be moving what is wrong what is wrong okay um well these ones is because I didn't start Okay, I did start them, actually. Okay, so did I set this up wrong? Um, edit. Edit. Uh, Deflood basement. So first thing it checks for is an input on the back. Then it goes down. Then it... Goes back. Hang on, how did we work this thing? Because to put an input actually on the back, that would mean that... So that, that would mean that the turtles would need to be up a layer, and then they would go down and run into this cobblestone um, row that's here. So how... How did we work this, and why Why is it not activating the turtles? And did we actually start them all? Yes, we did. Hmm. That is weird. I don't remember. Okay, I think we need to edit all these programs to go down twice so that we can set them up a layer above. This doesn't make sense. Hang on. I'm going to go check the other episode to make sure how I set these things up. Okay, so I just checked the episode, and they're set up correctly. So I don't understand why they are not working. But I, th I think we might need to change it a little bit. I think if we power the cobblestone block behind them, then it'll work. Let's... Uh, I also reloaded the world, so let's just check. I'm going to get all the turtles running and see if it's going to work. So basically, I don't remember, uh, <laughs> I don't remember where I left off in the explanation, but so basically, the noise suppressor, so... You might have heard, depending on your speaker setup and stuff like that, you might have heard a lot of background noise and stuff. Um, so I was working on balancing that, balancing the equalizer around... Oh, yes, I think what I was saying is that... I think I emphasized the wrong... Let's just make sure this works. No, it doesn't work. Okay. Time to get some redstone repeaters. So how do you make repeaters? Repeaters... Redstone repeater, stone, redstone, and redstone torch. So we're going to need about 30 stone because there's 10 turtles. That seems fairly easy to do. So let's go ahead and do that. And then what we can do with that, basically, is we can get rid of this trail of redstone. We can put blocks down here like this. There we go. Not like that. <laughs> um, we can put them down like this and place them over like this and then put the redstone repeaters 
on here, which will actually power the blocks in front of them, which means that the turtle will pick up the signal from the block behind it. So that's the idea. So let's go ahead and grab the uh, the repeaters. So basically... Oh yeah, so I was saying that I think I, I might have emphasized the wrong high frequencies a little bit, because depending on your speakers, like I heard this in some speakers I tested in, but not in others, where it sounded all of a sudden with the new settings, it sounded like I was talking like this, kind of like that, you know? And it's like sort of making, instead of like S is like S, making a S sort of sound. And so it like, it sounded really weird. But then I tried in different speakers and it didn't sound that way. So let me know how it sounds to you guys. But uh, I think it might be okay. I think it might just be my own, uh, my own perception of it is a little bit off. But anyways, we need 30 cobblestone, so let's go ahead and get that smelting down here. And we have no lava anywhere, so it's going to take a fair amount of coal. So, 30. And that would be 8 cobblestone per coal, so 8, 16, 24, 32, let's do 32. So that's four coal we'll need. So let's go ahead and do that and then stick the sand back up in here. And grab four coal. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, 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 not four coal. Let's go over here and grab our coal coke. There we go. Because that lasts longer than regular coal. So let's do four of them as well. And then it'll smelt some of the sand as well. So that's going to be helpful. So let's see, what can we do while we're waiting for that cobblestone? Because it's going to be a very long time before it's done. We can clear this out a little bit. We can, okay, I had a list of things to do this episode. Let's find out. Let's find out. Um, do... Set up floors and base. I think that's mostly done. Let's go ahead and grab some cobble and check out if that's done. And I think I'm going to set them every 10 blocks high instead of every 5 blocks. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go ahead and grab some cobble around here somewhere. All right, cobble, 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 cobble. There we go. Now let's see. Find out what level we're on, because it's supposed to be every 10 blocks. I'd like it to be on, like, level 80 and level 70 and level 60 and that kind of stuff. Um, oh, actually, this is a 10-block gap. It's on 55. I think I plugged up the hole for light upstairs somehow, or else the sun's going down. So let's go ahead and get back up and fix that. So yeah, so basically for the mic, that's... That's it. There's several different settings. There's the limiter, there's the equalizer, and the noise suppressor, of course. And then there's just the uh, adjusting the gain. So if the mic buzzes at different times, then it's probably because I have it too high. So, <laughs> yeah. And that'll be a matter of adjusting over time. What am I looking through the chest for? I need to go... Oh! I'm going to check if that light hole is plugged up or not. Because it seemed to be a lot darker than it's supposed to be down there. So yeah, so that's the thing. So another thing, last episode, I was talking about... Okay, let's check on... Oh, is it being blocked by the tree? No, it's not. Okay, so we're good. Let's go ahead and get down. There we go. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think we're good to go. And I think we have all the floors in as well. Almost all the floors in. We have a bit of cleaning up to do down here. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll have this base completely complete. Well, the, uh, the first section of the base, because as you can see, the second section is still being fixed. So let's go ahead and do that. Last episode, I was talking about... Um, how to commentate better, and I was talking about, like, talk shows and stuff, and a 
apparently I haven't listened to talk shows very well in uh, in the past because I was just listening to them more this week, and turns out they don't really do the same thing that I'm doing with with commentating. What I'm trying to do is just simply commentate for like an hour or two hours or something like that and just keep like talking for that long. But the way they tend to do it is, and we need to get rid of this floor because that's not what we're looking for. It's on the wrong level. Okay, and don't break the block I'm standing on. <laughs> um, so basically they tend to do a thing, like they tend to introduce a topic and then go to a break with like ads and stuff and then they come back and then they talk about it or maybe they take some phone calls or something like that and they talk about it for like maybe five minutes or something and then they go to another break with with ads or with whatever and then they come back and maybe introduce a new topic or maybe keep talking about the same topic and so it's like they have a lot of breaks where they have time to think and keep coming up with new like things to say and stuff like that so it's not really the same thing as what I'm doing so apparently I didn't listen to it very well in the past, and we don't want that water there. We have some gold on the wall, so that's going to be very, very helpful. I'm guessing a lot of people don't find gold on their wall when they're doing it. Um, gold is typically fairly hard to find, especially in real life. That would be amazing if you just go to a place and then find, oh, there's gold on the wall. <laughs> that would be a lot of fun, and that's not supposed to be there. Oh, and that's not supposed to be there either. We're probably going to end up breaking that lava that's down there. But that's okay. We'll have more lava eventually. So I think if we go like this, we're good to go. Okay, yeah, we're good to go. So here's another thing. So... Uh, actually, before that, let's see. We got... Three more blocks here, and then I need to repair the staircase. And then I think we're good to go. All right. So here's another thing. There was a comment on the last video from, uh, it was Lupus590 again, actually. He suggested that maybe for commentary, maybe I talk about my life a little bit or something like that if I'm comfortable with doing that. And I don't yet know how comfortable I am with doing that or not. Um, I should probably put get rid of this because it's not supposed to be here. But, yeah, might as well do that a little bit. So, basically, as I said earlier in this video, I play guitar. Or, I like, I used to play guitar. I play... Uh, I haven't played in quite a while just because doing a lot of other things and stuff like that. And I started playing bass guitar, and so... It's kind of a very different thing in a lot of ways. But basically, yeah, so I really enjoyed playing guitar, and I would still like to do it, but unfortunately I'm uh, out of practice. And if you know anything about guitar, like you have to build calluses and stuff like that so that you don't cut yourself on the strings and stuff like that. So you sort of play a little bit until you, your fingers get sore, and then you stop, and then maybe go back the next day or something and play a little bit more. So I would need to do that again if I wanted to get back into it. But, basically, I'm doing, I play bass guitar all the time, and I do all the time, actually, in my, um, in my church, I go and I play bass guitar on the music team, and that's a lot of fun, and I've been playing there various instruments, started with, uh, playing, like, shaker and tambourine, and then I started playing drums, and then I started playing guitar, and now I only do bass guitar, but... I've been playing on like on that music team for like 10 years almost now, not quite 10 years, but pretty close. And so it's it's been a lot of fun. And where's our light hole? Our light hole is over here. So that means I need to break this block right here. So yeah, so that's a lot of fun. I really enjoy playing music. And if you guys don't know also the um the intro song, I do have the information in the in the description, but the intro to a thinking pack is I actually wrote the music myself and uh, recorded it and stuff using uh, uh, GarageBand. And so that, that's a lot of fun. I like composing music. I don't really know how good I am at it, but I don't know. It's a lot of fun. And that's one thing is you just try things that are, are fun and learn to do them, and it's, it's great. 
So yeah, so that's something that you might not have known about me, or wouldn't have known about me, because I never said that before. So, yeah. So that's that. And I play bass, uh, bass guitar all the time. Um, like, not all the time, but like every... many weeks. So, like, maybe, not every week, but maybe every, uh... I, I don't know, it's kind of random as far as when it happens. Sort of every, like, second week on average, I'd say. And so, yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Bass guitar, in case you guys don't know, bass guitar is very different than uh, than regular guitar in some ways. It's very much the same. Like, I found, so, I learned to play guitar, and then I went to try bass guitar, and I'm like, oh, just pick it up, and, like, all the fingering's the same, all that kind of stuff. And so, it was very, very easy to just pick it up and just start playing as, like, playing, like, adequately, um, giving it an adequate sound and stuff like that, and it is very different in some ways. Like, I find that as I get playing it more, it's like the, the strings, they're so thick. If you've ever seen a bass guitar, it's like, for a regular guitar, you basically have this thin piece of wire where you're, like, pushing that down with your fingers to go and make some sound and stuff like that. But with the bass guitar, those strings are so thick that it's it's amazing. And they have a lot of power. Like, I find with some of the strings, especially the lower ones, it's like, you basically... You, you can't switch strings, switch uh, notes or whatever very quickly because they're all, like, the string is all flopping around and stuff like that, and then you go and release your finger to go and press a different string or something like that, and the string keeps on flopping and keeps making noise, basically. So it's, uh, yeah, it's it's interesting. It's, it's a lot of fun. So it's kind of learning techniques, how to mute the strings better, and, and that kind of stuff, and that's a lot of fun. And one thing, as I was saying, like, I'm out of practice for guitar, so I need to build, uh, I need to get back used to it again and stuff like that, because those strings are so thin. Like, as far as, like, they call them calluses and stuff like that, where your finger is basically, it's toughened up so that it doesn't, um, you don't cut your finger when you're playing and stuff like that. Um, like, I play bass a lot, but the strings are so thick that you're not really going to cut yourself on them. So it's, that's why, like, I can't just pick up a guitar and, like, play for half an hour. I can play for eh, five minutes or something, maybe. It depends. But anyways, yeah, so that's a lot of fun. Music is music's always a lot of fun. And hopefully you guys enjoy the uh, the intro song as well, and I need to unplug this hole. So, yeah, the intro song is basically, it has different things in it, a lot of different instruments. I tried doing a thing where I just basically try... Oh, and I think that we have actually made it to the bottom of this particular section of the world of the, not the world, of the base. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back up to the surface and I'm going to work on this thing. We should have all we need to make those repeaters now. So we can send that thing along the way and then... Actually, let's leave this section for another time. I think we'll just work on this section because I don't know how long the episode's been, but it's probably been a long time. So I think... I'm going to go ahead and finish off the roof section of this particular section of the base. So make it into that stealth base that we're, we're going for, that hidden base. And that's the thing. So basically, basically the, the intro song, I tried doing a thing where... That's the wrong chest. Uh, which chest am I going for? I don't remember. Actually, I'm not going for a chest. I'm going for plugging up the roof. So we need a lot of dirt, actually. So I need to find a dirt chest and then cover over the roof. And then all we need to do is work on moving these chests inside the base. So there's a lot of dirt here. So let's go ahead and cover the roof over. So yeah, so I tried doing a thing with the intro song where it just basically stays on a single chord for the whole song. So like normally you'd have, in music, you'd have 
the music would change chords all over the place and and stuff like that. And this song, I tried making it like it just stays on a single chord, and then it is interesting because of changing the the instruments and maybe the timing on on what notes they're hitting when and stuff like that. And so that was sort of how I'm trying to make the the music interesting. So let me know what you guys think about it. Is if is there any parts of the song that you really you really like, um, or is there uh, is there any parts that are like super boring or whatever? Like turns out like the previous version of the song, so the the current version is, of the music is remixed from the original because the original was very long and tedious and just sort of kept going and going, repeating the same thing over and over again. That that's one thing that I, the um. I like many dif- many different kinds of music, which is another thing you guys might not know. I like many different kinds of music, but the biggest thing that drives me nuts about music is when they repeat too many times. <laughs> so, m- like, my own song was irritating me for a while until I got it fixed, and a couple of you guys mentioned it as well. And I appreciate you guys mentioning that, because that sort of confirmed, because oftentimes I'm like, I don't know if it's just me, or if it actually sounds really weird or whatever. So... But yeah, like, I like a, I should probably clarify this, I like a certain amount of repetition in a song, like, that's a very good way to, a very good way to memorize it, basically, is through repetition, and that's actually, that's actually a good way to do things, like, um, here's another thing you guys might not know, I guess, uh, maybe I'm gonna call this episode, like, stuff about me or something, (laughs) I don't know, the, something, if you guys have suggestions for a title, then I might... I might uh, use that instead if it's like really good, but I'll probably just uh, pick something and and go with it. But another another thing is that, hang on, what am I doing? Oh yeah, moving the chest inside. So let's go ahead and get this ladder situation set up. Not the ladder, but the uh, the stairway. And so first step is to clear the stairway. So another thing that I do or did used to do is. I was in a thing where we would like memorize the uh, different different books of the Bible or something like that and memorize them and it was a lot of fun and I used to do that a lot and basically the way that I did it was through repetition basically so I'd find like an audio recording online and then just go and listen to it over and over and over again till the point where it got really really annoying because I had heard it so many times um, but it was also a lot of fun because I could kind of play video games while <laughs> while listening, and that was a lot of fun. But yeah, so I used to do that a lot for actually quite a number of years, and so that was that was really a lot of fun. But yeah, it's a very good way. Repetition is a very good way. Here's my point, basically. Repetition is a very good way to memorize things, and it's not the ideal way. Like I could have learned a lot more. Like as it is right now, I can't really. All that stuff that I learned, I can't really recall it um, on demand unless, like, I hear a piece of it and then I, I go and, like, oh, and then I remember, like, the rest of it or something like that. Um, but, so there's certain things that just plain repetition doesn't work for. But there are, it, it is a very good way to learn, to memorize things and stuff. And so that's the thing, like, for songs, I like a certain amount of repetition. Like, maybe, I don't know, uh... Wait, what did I do with the other chests? Did I put them down here? I think I put them down here. Unless I put them here. No, I put them down here. So, yeah, like, maybe repeat something, like, twice or three times, or depending on how long the thing is, of course. Like, sometimes, a lot of songs, they repeat, like, one one line over and over again. As an ending, it can sound really good. Um, in the middle of the song, it doesn't sound quite so good, and it, um, but, like, I find... After repeating something four times, um, sometimes even on three times, depending like if it's a song, uh, a one line of a song, or if it's like a whole like, um, like chorus or verse or something like that. But they, what am I doing? Uh, finishing the staircase. Oh, this is going to be dangerous. Okay, so while we are changing things around, I need to plug this up. So that we don't fall in. But I still want the light to get in. So let's go ahead and 
build it up so that we the light still has a shaft to get in, but we we can't fall into it, basically. So yeah, so that's the thing. Like after repeating something like two times or three times or especially four times, like I don't know. I think a lot of people are different than me, which is probably why a lot of people like that kind of stuff. But I, I just kind of get like, okay, what else is new? I've heard this already. So what? You know? <laughs> and then so that that's the thing. Oh, and I need those chests. Let's go ahead and get that. Maybe that's just me. But aside from that, like, I like many, many different styles of music. So that's another thing that you guys might be interested to know. So, yeah, so that's that's some interesting things. And the last thing we have to do this episode is move these chests inside. I'm not going to move everything. Like, this lava setup I'm going to leave there for the for the time being. But I think just putting the chests in here will be a very good start. I need to find out. I need to plug a... Make another hole in this side of the base. Okay, right there. And then let's stick it over... Whoops. Let's try back here. There we go. All right, so now it's a lot brighter down here. So let's go ahead and keep moving these chests over. And which wall should we put them in? We have holes in uh, we have holes in in both sides of the the room now. I think let's plug that one up and just put the chests over here like that. All right. Oh, you know what? This could be our storage room. I think I'm going to angle them the other way like that. And then line them up like this so that chests and then chests and then chests and like that. So, oh, and empty my inventory. Okay, so let's try putting this down here. Let's sort out what we want to keep and what we don't want to keep. So we want to keep all of these things in our inventory. And like that and like that and like that. And... I think we're good to go. Oh, actually, let's switch them onto the hotbar because that will make it easier to just simply click through the inventory and get rid of a whole bunch of things at once. There we go. And stick these things down there like that. And I think we're good to go. So now let's, ju let's just go ahead and not bother organizing any of this. Just go ahead and stick a whole bunch of stuff into the chest like that. And I think we're good to go. Let's let's do that with that too. There we go. So that's the thing. So another thing that you guys might be interested to know is uh, I do a lot in uh, at at my church. I do a lot in the uh, the the youth group. Or well, I don't know if I do a lot, but I'm there often um, as one of the sort of leaders, like. Different times, like earlier in the year, I was doing more to lead. Now I'm just sort of just there and not doing all that much, except hanging out with a lot of people, really nice people and stuff like that, and it's it's great. It's a lot of fun. And it's a lot of fun doing that, hanging out with people, stuff like that. And uh, so that's another thing that you guys might be interested to know. And let's see, I think that's about it for now. One thing, oh, this button. So we need to move these chests. We can, how are we going to do this? Oh, and there's an ax that was in the chest. Why would the chest, so I took an ax out of that chest that was floating around there. So why would there be an ax in it? That is a mystery. That is quite a mystery. And it, which chest was it we were working on? I don't remember. I don't remember which chest it was. Let's try this one. Let's let's get all the stuff out of this one. And I think what I'm going to do now is actually go ahead and do some more work off camera. So I think I'm going to go ahead and move more of these items and stuff like that in between episodes. And let's go ahead and stick these in here. So I'm gonna keep filling this in the uh, the chest. Oh, actually, I think 
I think I'm gonna call this episode like redoing the base or something like that. That might be that might be a good idea. Did was it wasn't there a chest that I just half emptied? And where did it go? Must have been this one. So let's go ahead and get this one all taken care of. And yeah, so basically, I think I'm gonna end it here and gonna go ahead and finish relocating all these chests into the new chest room, and then I, I think we'll be good to go for next time. So yeah, so, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It was a bit of a, a different sort of a video, and do I have an empty hand somewhere? No, I don't. That's the problem. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and hold the pick, guys. So, yeah, so it was a bit of a different video than usual. So... Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it anyways, and let me know what you think and stuff like that. And yeah, so, see you later. Bye-bye.